good takers, welcome back to the first take. Now, San Andreas, the rock's latest action venture. There's a brand new trailer, it's trailer three. Now, this is surprised. The last trailer looked way better than I expected it was going to look. It looked way more fun. You know, it's still a standard paint by numbers action movie, but it just looked way more fun than I expected it was going to look. Let's see if that continues with trailer three. Chief Game, Chief you have over 600 documented rescues. That's pretty impressive. Harrison said you're taking off with Blake for a few days. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to drive you back up to school. I can't believe she's in college already. Right? I know. Hey, Johnny. Hi, Dad. Hi. Calm before the storm. Tell you I was sorry for how I acted yesterday. No, Ray, really. No, Emma. 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 Where it begins. I can't even imagine being a witness to this shit. It's crazy seeing this now. After the shit that happened in um, Nepal recently. Will be decimated. Are you saying the whole San Andreas fault might go off? Everybody down! Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. We can't stop it. We can't prepare for it. It will be a global event. It's on to Betty. Yes, a sight to see. Long lost trailer. Yeah. I don't know what it is about disaster movies. For me personally, disaster movies always they've always intrigued me. Even when the movies themselves haven't been great. I find weird I don't know enjoyment out of them. I don't know what it is. Like even 2012, a movie that wasn't great. It entertains me, and I always watch it when it's on telly. Day after tomorrow, maybe, maybe it's because of where I am. I'm in London, we don't get, we get a few storms, we don't get crazy storms, we don't get hurricanes, tornadoes, we don't get earthquakes, so maybe that's why it's something that kind of fascinates me to a degree, because we don't really have to put up with that extreme side. We have shitty weather, but not extreme weather that's going to kill you like that. So I guess, you know, people that are going through the shit over in Nepal, man, would not be too interested to check out this movie, most likely. There's a lot of you guys in the States that are watching this, that live in, you know, the West Coast that has a lot of earthquakes, or, you know, you're down south that has a lot of hurricanes and tornadoes and shit. How do you react to disaster movies? Do they still intrigue you, or do you have enough of it? In reality, the you truly get the scope of what Mother Nature can do to you and you don't really need to see it depicted in the movie. You know, if you've been through a, a tremor, does a movie about a full-on earthquake get you excited or does it make you scared? Because it's more likely, you're more likely to experience it. Is it you know, that's what I'm curious about. Let me know, write down below. As a movie, now it looks like it paints by numbers, but... Like I said, it's never really about the film. It's never really about even the characters. It's about the disaster and the sea and the spectacle of it all. So, you know, Rock's entertaining to watch. Alexander Daddario is just always a pleasure. Mwah. The girl is just mm, work of art. 
and uh, uh, the mother, the girl that rocks with, I'm forgetting her name, she was in uh, Sin City and Spy Kids, a whole bunch of films, and Sucker Punch, yeah. forget the name, I'll write it down, I'll write it up, what do you guys think, let me know, like I was mentioning before, you notice know, this shit affects you in real life, the idea that nature could just turn around and just fuck you right up the rods, you, you know, Write comments down below. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I'm Ed Reese. Whew. And this has been my first take.